Hi, I'm Anthony, Church of Christ. We thought we'd gather together around a devotional. Uh, we thought it would be really good over the next uh, 21 days to have a look at Psalm 91. Now, over those 21 days, we're talking a Monday to Friday scenario, so don't expect something every day of the week. But uh, today, it was, I think it's worth having a look at uh, verse 1. And so for those who have got Bibles, you could turn to that. But verse 1 reads, Those who live in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. Those who live in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. What a, what a wonderful way to start a psalm. Uh, what a wonderful way to, to start a devotion. To know that we can rest in the shadow of the Almighty. Amen. Now, have you ever been inside a cabin? Inside a, a place with a roaring fire, like a fireplace? You're enjoying and feeling the safety and security as you're, you're watching a storm outside. You're watching the rain fall. You're, you're watching the hail. Uh, smash down on the tin roof, listening to the noise that some people actually find quite soothing, apparently. It's really quite beautiful and wonderful knowing that you're being sheltered inside this cabin with a fire and what's going on outside, what's going on past the doors, the storm, is going to have absolutely no effect on you. That's what Psalm 91 is all about. Psalm 91 is all about shelter you know did you know there's a place in god a, a secret place for those who want to seek refuge it's it, it's it's a literal place of physical safety for you and i we can trust this it's 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 a word from our god it's a place of security in verse one god is offering us more than protection it's it's as if he's personally inviting us to dwell with him amen I, i'm sure Many of us can think of something that represents security to us. You know, um, I have a vivid childhood memory of being protected in our home by the storm. Looking out the back door to our backyard, we would have, there was two back doors at our house. Um, they were both single doors, one on the right, one on the left. And we, my brother and I would often just stand there and look outside and look at the rain just pelting down uh, onto our garage that was still... Still part of it was in our backyard and onto the rear shed, you know, but we were totally covered, totally protected, um, totally safe, really, in the arms of our mum and dad, which was just lovely. It felt so calm to know that we were in a safe place. And our Heavenly Father has a secret place in His arms, in His house, in His presence that protects us from the storms, the storms that are raging all around us in the world. That secret place, it's literal, but... But it's also conditional. You know, in verse 1, God lists our part of the condition before he mentions the promise. He often does that. I don't know if you've ever noticed that, but he often does that. And that's because our part must come first. In order to abide in the shadow of the Almighty, you and I, we must first choose to dwell in the shelter of the Most High. You and I, we need to put ourselves there, place ourselves there, picture ourselves there. Yeah, You might call that a place of refuge. You might call it a, a, a love walk. <laughs> I don't know what you want to call it. You could call it your secret cove. But this place is found through relationship with Father God, developed by and only developed by investing your time to make it very personal. The more intimate you are with Father, the more easily you'll find yourself in his shelter. Amen. You and I, we need to have a secret place for spending time in his presence. Just, just you and him. Just me and him. Just us and him. A big step is asking the Lord to help us develop that personal relationship with him. And maybe now with what's happening all around us with the, the COVID-19 virus and the fear that's, that's really gripping the world, maybe now is the perfect time to build on a deep, personal Psalm 91 type relationship with Father God. Amen. See you next time. God bless.